So you watch your patient run on a treadmill. You notice excessive adduction and internal rotation of the femur. What are you going to do? Well, from assessment, you're thinking you need to test the gluteus medius muscle fibers, abductors, and the posterior aspect of gluteus medius external rotators. So our classic manual muscle test will be with the patient lying sideline on the table. You can expose the lumbar region. So you can see any compensations, especially from quadratus lumborum. You're going to passively take them through the range of motion. I'm going to stabilize the pelvis and bring the athlete through hip abduction. They're then going to actively perform that same motion. Go ahead and lift your leg just like I did. And come back down. Looking for any compensations. Do you see that compensation? You can see his leg drifted into hip flexion. You're then going to take him into the manual muscle testing position. I'm going to palpate gluteus medius with my thumb, quadratus lumborum with my ring finger, and tensor fascia lata with my pointer finger. I'm going to bring him into abduction. I'm going to make sure that he maintains stabilization through his upper extremities. So we make sure that his hand stays flush against the table to prevent any lumbo-pelvic motion. Come back to the landmarks, level his pelvis, set it up, hold that position, and don't let me press you down. Hold, 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 and relax. So that's our standard manual muscle test. That's our classic test. He passed the test. He had a five out of five. Only tests the weakness of a muscle. So how do we test the strength? How do we know exactly how strong one side is versus the other? Well, we need to use dynamometry. And as I talked about be before, dynamometry is so simple to do, and nowadays it's very cost effective. So think about it. What do you have lying around the clinic? Well, most clinics have a standard hand dynamometer. And so you could rig a hand dynamometer, or you can use a crane scale and rig it to the table to get exact force of a muscle. So you can see here that we have on the plinth, we have a lashing strap, or you can use a mobilization belt. We have two towels protecting the belt from the naga hide on the table so that you don't get friction over time. And then, for example, we have a dynamometer set up here, a standard handheld dynamometer with two straps attaching it to the table, to the mobilization belt, and then another strap right on the trigger. So you can imagine what happens with this when the patient presses their leg up into abduction and the dynamometer is turned on. You have the stable base, and then their leg is actually triggering the dynamometer. So that's a nice makeshift setup that you can do around the clinic to instantly have a dynamometer. But another way, for about $50, or very inexpensive, if you get a crane scale, you could set this up, attach it to the mobilization belt on the table, and attach another end so you have a strap. And you can also get an exact reading when the patient goes into abduction. So we're going to set this up right now. I'm going to turn on the crane scale. And then I'm going to hit the hold button. And that's going to allow me to hold in that value of the manual muscle test. I'm then going to keep the patient in the proper position, have them straighten their leg, slide the strap through their leg, bring them into hip abduction, rotate your hip forward just a little bit, good. Hold right there for a moment. We're all set up right at the level of the malleoli. Go ahead and keep your leg straight and push up towards the sky. And push, 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 and down. So we're going to do that one more time. Because when you do this, you need to make sure that there's no compensation from the patient. The same thing as a manual muscle test. So when you press up, just keep that leg completely straight, and then we'll get a value. We'll go ahead and we'll reset the dynamometer. Now that it's reset, we'll put him into that position. 
Keep that knee nice and straight, excellent. And when you're ready, go ahead and push up, push, 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 and then back down. We'll then look, and we get a reading of the dynamometer at 7.6 kilograms of force. So now we've quantified exactly how strong that muscle is. We can compare to the opposite side, and we can use that dynamometry value to be able to test and see the true strength of the athlete's muscle.